Okay, uh, good morning, everybody. Um, today I'm here to introduce you a project that I really wanted to see implemented on the mainnet. Uh, it's, this project is about um, uh, implementing a real-world supply chain uh, uh, for Italian products, and in particular, uh, we started with the supply chain ecosystem. This project is baked uh, uh, by the Italian Ministry of Agriculture. Uh, it, it, it's big and complex, so I don't have time to cover all the aspects. Uh, so in this presentation, I summarized um, the key aspects that I think uh, uh, may help you to build a similar solution uh, in other countries. Um, I'll be happy to answer uh, other questions uh, during the break. So um, let's start from the conclusions. <laughs> I am, this is a suggestion from me. I am a developer, I'm a solution architect, and the head of the uh, blockchain uh, competence center in Almaviva. So um, let's go fast. Uh, supply chain exists regardless of IT solutions. So you must uh, fit uh, their process, not, uh, not the contrary, okay? So you um, um, will have supply chain that evolves with business leveraging the technology. So don't be a blockchain zero. <laughs> you cannot expect that clients want to know details of your solution or is interested in how disruptive uh, uh, for the classical IT world it is. Each actor of the supply chain has its own expertise, vision, business models, and goals. So you cannot convince them all the stakeholders to converge to a single goal. Okay, uh, creating an integration of supply chain consistency is a matter of business, not technology. So stakeholders want to uh, only do <laughs> its own job, not to be IT expert, and stakeholders use this, um, the technology that gives them minor costs and better results. So what you need to do is to find the scenarios that really need a decentralized ecosystem. So you need to search for heterogeneous stakeholder with different um, goals. So, for example, a big company with uh, um, many suppliers, it's not a good idea. <laughs> uh, many intermediaries, so if you are in Italy, it's a good place to start from, and a lot of bureaucracy. Uh, Italy also a good place to start from, and uh, uh, EU also. Let's continue with the conclusion. So you cannot force a supply chain ecosystem. You need to create, a prom in my opinion, a create a, a promising environment that all actor wants to use. So you create a virtual cycle that makes other stakeholders to join. What is a promising environment? Uh, so it fixes some issues from the beginning, and that's from some actor. Uh, it can grow without relying on the single actor, and every actor can implement new features. Uh, it has a reputational system that emerges during the normal use of the environment uh, by the stakeholders. So um, endorsing should not be separated step um, it should not add, and, uh, add a step to the stakeholder business process. Um, a promising environment must, be, uh, must save private investments that uh, uh, are made to upgrade the stakeholder uh, IT systems, and it should be cheaper than existing solutions, or at least uh, and have at least the same, uh, the same features. Um, stakeholders can uh, live, uh, enjoy, must can live, the, enjoy the, the the ecosystem whatever they want without shame and justification, and uh, uh, regulators must recognize and participate in the environment. Really important, bold, underlined. Um, so, private companies look for return on investment. Sooner the better. They never really do charity. So I think that your company does not exception. So you, I suggest to stick close to government organization. They can really boost the creation of the environment because they can spend money for go of the community. And the, this is exactly their own return on investment. And with conclusion, you need the, the regulators hmm, to get rid of regulation. So don't try to be the new regulators just because you master the blockchain. And you need dematerialization, really, really much dematerialization. Start creating a decentralized solution that simply works. Don't try to build a complete solution from the start. So you cannot force the use of specific IT supply chain solution because it never fits um, the needs of all stakeholders. 
in any case, there, there's no single solution that rules them all. There's no single smart contract that rules them all. So it's always a matter of integration. Please use the blockchain for what it is better. So uh, leveraging all the peer-to-peer -peer technology and integrate those technologies with legacy system. We need legacy system for many years uh, ago, um, more. And again, you don't need to do all on the blockchain, really. You don't need, so don't do it. Start with solution, integration, and features that prepare the environment for the growth of the ecosystem, okay? So if you follow these rules, I think you can uh, use Ethereum mainnet for uh, build a de decentralized supply chain solution, and you can build it now. Uh, just gather with others, don't try this at home alone, and if you want, you can start building with us. So who am I, who we are? We are a um, quite big company. Um, so we are in all over the world, Italy, Brazil, United States, we have many, many people that work with us, and we cover all these markets, so uh, in public, public administration, transportation, and logistics, and so on. Um, I think you understand the, the kind of, uh, of, of company. And uh, we have many partnerships, so if you want to be with us, uh, just say hi. And uh, to cover all the aspects of the new technology, we have many competence centers. As already said, I work with, uh, I am head of uh, Blockchain Competence Center, and I work with other competence centers to provide this kind of solution because it's a, 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 um, it needs to be uh, many competencies to, to provide the, this solution to the customer. Um, blockchain is used here uh, as a uh, keyword, as a shortcut, because I really um, trust that the focus here is to create decentralized solutions. So blockchain is the, um, the main uh, technology for this solution, but it's not the only one. So scenario, um, Italy is one of the largest agricultural producers of food and processor in the, uh, in the Euro European Union. There is um, one million people uh, directly or indirectly involved in, this pro in the production chain, and we uh, created not one, but four marks of guarantee that a food of wine product tastes as it traditionally should. Okay, so the main uh, agricultural market treat that we want to solve is uh, product counterfeiting, it, uh, national and international. We uh, choose to start from wine because uh, Italy is the larger wine producer in the world. So we produce uh, uh, 500 million of liters of wine per year. Uh, we are very thirsty. And uh, uh, the traceability of Italian agri-food is the most discussed topic in, uh, for benefit it can make in several application areas. So what we need to do uh, to guarantee quality consumer safety and protection of Italian, of the Middle East product, of made in Italy products, sorry, and to determine the exact origin and characteristics uh, uh, that make the products uh, unique. Traditional uh, tracking methods are not enough to counteract and discourage the counterfeiting phenomenon. So uh, the actors involved in this uh, uh, ecosystem are many. We, here, here you can see the main. There are producers, wineries, transporters, uh, consumers, associations or associations or all these players. So association producers, wineries, and so on, bottlers, uh, government organization, and so on. They all share um, essentially the same uh, issues. Mandatory documentation, uh, in Italy often is still in paper, <laughs> and container they don't have information. So there is a delay in, in data gathering because all these actors need to send data to the ministry. So uh, they have uh, different due dates, uh, different laws, and the ministry can, do the, can really do the math because uh, different act actors can declare different numbers uh, and it's not easy to understand who is saying the truth and who is saying the, uh, he is wrong. So um, there are high costs for formal controls because it's a fully centralized information that is required to go to the, to the ministry. And there is no easy access for the consumer to all this data. So the, the data is there, but uh, is um, available only for the ministry, not for uh, us. So uh, the project uh, is uh, uh, this. We uh, set three goals. Reduce, uh, uh, reduce bureaucratic burdens for actors involved in production chain, simplify mand mandatory declaration management, automating the collection of information, and removing duplicates data. Create a certification system based on innovative technologies 
to support the wine supply chain. This is important. It should not be, uh, it should be coordinated and supervised by the ministry, but freely, freely usable by the market. SME, retailers, are top for building the va um, of value added services and uh, enable more effective control management by uh, organizations. So, uh, how we do that with uh, an industry dot for, um, uh, four dot zero, uh, supply chain platform for traceability of grapes, transport, processing, and bottling. Well, the benefit, administrative and formality uh, simplification, traceability certified and accessible to players and consumer. Um, easy sharing of guaranteed data for uh, all uh, controllers of supply chain. And we have real-time real access to product uh, chain information, decreasing cost for formal documentation check, and check of authenticity uh, of products also aboard. Uh, we, <laughs> I think, all know this, uh, but we have advantages of decentralized platform there are no single point of failure. We have cost fairness, one of my favorite, because reduced cost respect existing solution, and uh, it is a fair distribution of cost among all players. It's safe. Uh, we can run smart contract, and uh, we have data protection. Data are immutable, almost, and can be encrypted. What is different? The improvement respect private solutions uh, based on the blockchain already existing. So we, um, the platform born and dedicated to incentivize collaboration efforts, so encourage, encouraging data usage and building new application. Reliability of data. Data are also certified by public administration systems, not just for private individuals. It is legal valid and um, there, is legal, uh, there is legal validity and simplification involved because we integrated with the system that are already uh, used uh, by the ministry um, and are used to fulfill various bureaucratic burdens. So the um, company does not any, anything at all and you can track uh, the, the supply chain just now. Actors with certified identity, so we can integrate with the specific existing systems for identity authentication, for example, the IT uh, system of the ministry, or the SPID, that is uh, a, nas uh, a national Italian identification system. Uh, it is, uh, the solution is, it is provider, IT, IT provider agnostic, so every stakeholder can choose its own IT provider to use the, the platform. Uh, it don't, not, it don't need to choose us or the ministry. And um, save private investment in the ecosystem because uh, it is everlasting leadness on the platform guaranteed, and even if the, if the ministry decides to stop using it, the platform is still there. Uh, what we created is uh, uh, we choose uh, uh, six uh, uh, players, and we created an application for everyone. So uh, the first is a producer that sends grapes and land information with a uh, mobile app. Uh, the transporter uh, takes that uh, uh, information and uh, a certificate that it takes the, those uh, load and bring to the winery. Uh, the winery, um, we upgraded the system that the winery already used to um, track this information also on Ethereum. We created dashboard and analytics for the ministry and for uh, um, to monitor the, the, the all the transaction and to uh, apply fraud detection. And uh, we uh, are waiting to create the, um, the, the step of assigning an FC tag history, uh, to the history. And uh, uh, we created also a web app for a consumer to verify information. Uh, how we created this, uh, we use uh, an high-level architecture like this. This is a platform we already own inside uh, Almaviva. It's called Giotto. It was born as an, I, uh, as an IoT platform, then evolved uh, as an integration platform, and uh, uh, now it's also a blockchain platform. It's a very high-level uh, view, uh, overview of the, of the platform. Um, the, uh, the main feature of this platform can be uh, mixed, so the model can be mixed uh, as, uh, as we wish. Um, so uh, we create a, a specific platform for every customer 
uh, in, um, we, we um, work with. In this case, uh, I choose this kind of, I summarize a little bit, but uh, in this case, uh, the, the supply chain is, uh, is this. We have uh, on-premises uh, uh, solution uh, on VMware because Ministry uses uh, use the first product. And we have a legacy system uh, using Gray or in Java uh, with Vini Cultural Register and other application. This application needs to be upgraded to send uh, uh, messages to the data lakes for analytics. Uh, you see a bunch of uh, classical analytical products like Elasticsearch, Spark, uh, Flume, etc. And uh, we created um, the, the front end with Angular engines uh, and the back end API with um, uh, GraphQL and, and Node.js. Persistently there is Mongo. Uh, for a blockchain system, we use the two client, Parity and Get. And Get, we uh, put Get on the cloud. So um, all uh, uh, actors and third parties can interact with the, the ministry all via a classical way uh, legacy system or directly through the blockchain. Um, so what... Um, now, the, the third parties now send data directly to the ministry. Tomorrow, it will send only to the blockchain. Um, sorry. Um, the same thing, uh, let's say something about the smart contract. Um, the smart contract, uh, we created this platform so everyone can work with. So a smart contract has uh, um, some... Uh, so everyone can use smart contract, that this smart contract. Sorry, I uh, can see, just a moment, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, everyone can use this smart contract. Uh, the, the question, the, the issue is, uh, um, we can create a supply chain. We non, don't need governance, uh, we need the uh, endorsement. So, the ministry endorse each step. If I don't want the, the ministry endorsement, I can use uh, this platform in any case. Uh, so the consumer or every, pla uh, every actor can see um, who endorsed what, ste what step. So, um, so we, can see, we can say that chain is dynamic uh, and every step can be endorsed by everyone. Uh, for example, we can uh, uh, now the identity of the uh, of the company is provided by the ministry, but tomorrow can be, for example, an uh, residency a residency credential, uh, maybe using uh, the oracleized proof of identity, and allows them to endorse every step in any case. So it's up to every um, player of the supply chain to choose what uh, um, endorsement. Uh, uh, to consider valid. Um, the ministry s uh, set some uh, constraint about, for example, the, the quantity. So if you produce the, uh, uh, um, a fixed amount of wine, you cannot bottle more than the capacity of the, of the bottle you have. So, uh, and I can show you just what I think about uh, Upgradable con smart contract. Please do not upgrade <laughs> smart contract. Uh, really fast because I don't have. Uh, so I prefer, and I suggest to don't uh, don't upgrade a smart contract because this puts a government inside uh, something that should not be governed. Uh, it's better to uh, um, send a message to the clients that the smart contract for me for the ministry is not valid anymore. Okay. So if I want to use them. That smart contract, I can continue to use that, but uh, uh, I know that someone uh, know that the smart contract is not valid anymore for the for the ministry. Okay, so uh, I have finished the time. So this is a really fast uh, some screenshot of our uh, console uh, made in Angular that shows the production and the supply chain steps. Uh, it's really fast. This is uh, some analytics from uh, Kibana. Uh, we have uh, deviation from the historical series, for example. Uh, this is the uh, snapshot for, from the 
mobile application for uh, customers, so you can scan the NFC code, NFC, NFC code on the bottle and <laughs> check all the step of uh, history and uh, understand where the, the wine is, uh, is made from. And um, so, one last uh, thing, the moral of the story is, uh, yeah, you may uh, already heard of this somewhere uh, by someone, and uh, you can build uh, uh, Ethereum uh, and <laughs> decentralized application now in production. Uh, don't let them catch you doing it, though. Thank you. <laughs>